grain, yeast and water. Three key ingredients for two German passions. The Germans even call beer flüssiges Brot, liquid bread. Ask Germans what they miss above all else when they go abroad, and there's one answer that's sure to crop up. Das Brot. Ich hab Brot vermisst. Tatsächlich ist es das Brot. <laughs> Little wonder then that German bread has been designated an official UNESCO intangible cultural heritage. Bread is obviously a favourite staple all over the world, and plenty of countries eat more of it than the Germans. For example, in Turkey they eat twice as much. But the Germans take great pride in their specific varieties of bread. There are more than 3,000 different types on the official bread register. Rye, wheat and spelt are all very popular varieties. Then there are varieties like Schwarzbrot or Vollkornbrot. They usually come in thin, dense slices like this one. Very tasty, but very heavy. I get a lot of stick here in Germany about bread. Germans seem to think that all that Brits eat is a really bad version of what they call Torstbrot. While this makes me pretty defensive of my country's superior sliced bread varieties, I can't deny that the Germans make a cracking loaf. So what's their secret? Diese extreme Brotkultur und diese extreme Vielfalt gibt's nur in Deutschland. Wir Deutschen haben einfach Brot mit Kruste, mit Charakter, mit Aussagekraft und das ist der große Unterschied. Bäcker ist ein, ist ein ehrlicher Beruf, ist ein ehrliches Handwerk, wo man was mit seinen Händen herstellt, man sieht, was man gemacht hat, es ist transparent und man macht anderen Leuten eine Freude damit. One thing I love about living in Germany is a large hearty breakfast on the weekend, including the vital ingredient of fresh bread from the bakery. Bread traditionally makes an appearance throughout the day in Germany. It's the star of the breakfast bread. Later on you might munch on a Pausenbrot or break time bread, and in the evening many families will have Abendbrot or evening bread. But over the last 10 years, the Germans have become a little less loyal to their crusty staple. With demand dipping and more shoppers switching to discounter supermarkets, there's also been a decline in the number of independent craft bakeries like this one. Anyway, I'm lucky enough to have a couple of independent bakeries nearby, and my absolute favourite thing to buy is bread rolls. Pumpkin seed, poppy seed, potato, whole green, cheese. There are so many varieties. Here in Cologne, bread rolls are known as Brötchen, which literally means little bread. And that's the term pretty much anywhere north-ish. Except in Hamburg, where you might hear Rundstück, or Berlin, where it's Schrippe. In Munich and the southeast, it's a Semmel. It's generally a Weg in the southwest, but a Wegler in Swabia. Oh, and depending on where you are in Franconia, you might hear Kipfel, Wegler, or Labla. I have a theory that Germany is trying to test its newcomers by making its delicious baked goods as difficult as possible to order. Bread roll varieties are some of the hardest words in the German language to pronounce. I remember trying to pluck up the courage to go on a solo bakery trip when I was fairly new here. As I approached the counter, I would frantically scan the little labels to find some words I could actually say. I'd get to the front and... Oh, um, ich hätte gerne zu rechts? Nee. Most of the time I'd end up walking away with a bag full of so-called normale Brötchen. They're perfectly fine, but trust me, keep practicing the word Kürbiskernbrötchen and it'll be worth your while. Have you got room for a little more Meet the Germans in your life? Then head over to Instagram and give us a follow.